Hello everybody, my name is Paolo Yuppi and on this video I'm gonna do a little review on the um, navigation app that I'm using while I'm sailing on my electric sailboats. The device I'm using is Sony Xperia Compact Z3 or 2, I'm not sure, I don't remember. But it's 8 inch uh, Android tablet, it's pretty thin and it's uh, waterproof. So it's a good choice, I think, for for using on a boat because you don't have to worry about it if it gets wet. And I have, you know, soaking it on uh, salt water a couple of times and it survives. So. And yeah, so the app is uh, Transat's iSailor. Let me start it here. Uh, now I got my my tablet um, connected to the Wi-Fi on my boat, which is a box that uh, shares the uh, GPS and the um, AIS uh, signals that I'm getting from the uh, VHF radio frequencies. So here it is. There was a boat passing by. It's gonna make a little ways. Uh, so I've been using this for since it came out on Android about a year ago, a little bit more. And first I didn't like it that much because it didn't have all the functions that I needed. But recently they've been updating the um, app and I think it's pretty good. But um, I have to say even though this is a pretty new uh, tablet it's not that old I think it's you know it's fairly powerful but still I got a lot of lag when zooming out and then yeah scrolling like this and I have used some other apps that also use big maps and they are a lot more fluent so that's the one thing that I don't like is because it doesn't doesn't operate that smoothly there's a little bit lag over there here's the other uh, button that you can press to center your boat if you're like this you press this one it brings you in the center there's no alarms you can set the uh, alarms for uh, the anchor and that kind of stuff I think I never used that before but it should be okay here you can see the um, you can get a small kind of a where you can see the uh, the bearing and your speed and yeah that kind of stuff Here you can see a little bit more. Now I have, I haven't put a road in here, but if there's one point over there. After that, I'm gonna go. You can record a path if you like. It's gonna draw a line while you're moving. That's also new. It didn't, didn't exist on the uh, first version of this. App. Yeah, uh, there's the uh, the course on on ground, speed on ground. You have your uh, position data over there. You can see the, that the uh, GPS is coming from the NMEA connection that I got from my my radio. It's the waypoints. You can set the waypoints over there. It's pretty simple. Okay, so I had to take the um, the tablet to out for a while because my radio is so so sensitive of the uh, Wi-Fi signals that it loses the um, the uh, AIS information. But now you can see there's one chip over somewhere. I press this so I get more info. I can see the uh, the speed. It's still. Some information there it is and I can also locate it by pressing this 
you can see it's in the harbor 2.6 nautical miles from me so yeah but it's it's yeah the, that's why I don't see any more ships usually there are a lot of ships over here but it's because of the Wi-Fi so let's move on you have the option to make routes and let's put this up you press here and then you find the, uh, the first point it's gonna be around there you press plus then you move to the next one go over there then you press plus go to the next let's go over there plus I think this feature could be easier because in some apps you just press and then press another one this one you have to press the plus sign to make another point so it's a, a little bit slower you can also move this like this and once you have finished let's make another one I'm gonna go over there and you press OK now it shows the uh, the waypoints there's six waypoints and when you go back to this mode you can here see the waypoints and you can see how long does it take to get to each waypoint and in here you can see how you are aligned in the route now I'm not in the route I can also edit this like this now you can see here you can see how I'm aligned on on the uh, the route and there's the uh, the usual information yeah now we see also the track that I've made it's this here and you can save this and then you can watch them on here the tracks this one is recording it's an old one from yesterday this one and you can see the info it would be nice to have a I have a kind of um the average speed now you can see only the distance and the, uh, the duration then you have to calculate if you have want to know the average speed that you had on that route then we can go on the settings a lot of settings over here there's a chart, chart store now I don't have the internet connection so I don't see all the charts over there but the good thing about this App is that they, uh, the the are pretty cheap. So I turn the autopilot 20 degrees to the right. I'm gonna go between these. Yeah, let's continue on the settings. There's a charge over there. Here are the sensors. And you can use the internal sensors like the GPS on this tablet or the uh, NMEA data that is now coming from my from my radio the connections you can make the connections you can also get the uh, uh, a AIS from the uh, internet if you like Here are the alarms, anchor, watch, which is pretty useful.
There's both settings. I think you can also connect the um, from the uh, NMEA connection. You can if you have a, a depth sounder or um, that kind of uh, instruments, you can share them uh, through the um, Wi-Fi connection on the uh, NMEA. EA <laughs> uh, data, then you can have those things over here, and you can put the alarms if there's if it's too shallow or something like that. I don't know the import. I think you can import some routes if you like, because you can export the tracks and routes. And you can set in units, two kilometers, feet, meters, that kind of stuff, speed. Yeah, I think you can, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and there's also the uh, subscription options. You can have the uh, AIS service from the uh, internet, and also the weather service. But these are. Uh, It doesn't show it now, but I think it was like 30 or something, 30 bucks to get the uh, the weather stuff. Now it doesn't show it because I'm not connected to the internet. But yeah, you can get those and you can see on the chart, and you, you can see the uh, stuff from the, uh, from the website. So this is basically it. This is just a short review on this this app that I'm using. So yeah, I hope you like it. Uh, if you have any questions, you can ask me. I don't know if I'm able to answer them all. I think you can find more answers on the, um, the app web page so this is it i hope you liked it see you soon bye bye